Welcome back all of my students to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Jay. Make sure you stick around so you can have better English dictation. You can have less frustration and I can help your conversation get some elevation. All right, let's get into today's lesson. Now, one thing everyone should do when it comes to speaking English is study. You need to do some examination. You, you need to do uh, some research so you can get better. So what I'm going to do on today's lesson is I'm going to give you about nine or 10 phrasal verbs that you can use when you are conversing about studying or your study habits. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, I'm gonna give you the lesson. You wanna stick around for my quiz, and then I'm gonna have a question of the day. I hope you're ready to have some fun. My name is Jay. All right. <laughs> the first particular phrasal verb I want you to learn is look into. Now, when it comes to using look into, it is describing you investigating or examining something closer or closely. So for instance, you may say, I need to look into what Jay is teaching me on his YouTube channel. Or you may say, the students looked into the various topics that Jay taught on his YouTube channel. Look into. Another phrasal verb that you could use is brush up on, which means to review or refresh one's knowledge about a subject. So you may say, Jay taught me some phrasal verbs, but I need to brush up on what he taught. Or you may say, before my next video, I'm going to brush up on Jay's last 100 lessons. Brush up on. Another phrasal verb is go over. Go over means simply to review or check thoroughly, okay? Let's go over the key vocabulary words that Jay talked about. Or you may say, I always go over my notes that I took from class. Go over. Another phrasal verb is bring up, which means to mention or introduce a topic in a conversation or discussion. So you may say, I'm going to leave a comment down in the comment section and I hope Jay brings it up in his next lesson. Boy, that's a good example. <laughs> or you may say, I want to bring up an issue that I'm having a challenge with as it pertains to me speaking English. Bring up. Another one is break down. And break down is to divide into smaller parts or to analyze in details. So this can also be used as a slang term. And we say, hey, will you break that down for me? Or you may say, I really enjoy Jay's channel because he breaks down the examples so I can understand. Or you may say, Jay breaks down phrasal verbs that I can use in everyday conversations break down, okay? Now, break down can be used to describe something you do when it comes to logistics, like will you break down that table and take it out of here? But when it comes to study, remember, break down means to explain in great detail so a person gets understanding. Another phrasal verb that you can use when it comes to study is work through, which means to go through a problem or a task, okay? So you may say, let's work through these vocabulary words before we move on to sentence structure. 
work through. Or you may say, she worked through the challenging exercises to help improve her fluency. Work through. Another phrasal verb that you can use is tune in. Okay, tune in or tune into. And you may say, I need to tune in to Jay's episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, Jay releases a video three times a week, and it's important for me to tune in so I can get better at speaking English. Another phrasal verb is set aside. Set aside, which means to allocate or to reserve for another time or for another specific purpose. So you may say, look, I didn't have time to watch Jay's last three videos, so I'm going to set aside one hour for me to practice my English, okay? Or you may say, I need to set aside some time to spend with my family so they don't despise me. Set aside. So there are other ones like cram, okay? And cram means to uh, study intensely in a small period of time. So you may say, I need to cram for my test. So go back and study these phrasal verbs for study. And I know it's going to help your conversation and give you some English elevation. Or in other words, you'll get better. Okay, are you ready for today's quiz? Now, as always, or here lately, these quiz questions have nothing to do <laughs> with today's lesson, but they will help you to understand English vocabulary as well as uh, further your, shall I say, vocabulary usage. So let's get into today's quiz. The first question is, what is the meaning of the word humble? Or some people say humble. Is it proud, modest, loud, or angry? Leave your answer down in the comments section. What is the plural form of child? Is it child's, 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 or children? <laughs> Let's see if you can get these two correct and leave your answers down in the comments section. Oh, I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope that you're enjoying my lesson for today. Before we get out of here, something that I have been enjoying and I'm going to continue to do because I want to interact with my students is a question of the day. So let's discuss this. Leave me your answer down in the comments section, okay? What is an exciting or memorable travel experience that you have taken? It could be something recent or it could be something that has been a while ago. But tell me a place that you went, an excursion, an adventure, something that you did that was very, very memorable to you. I wanna share mine with you here recently. I was able to take my wife to a few states here in the United States. First, we went to Dallas, Texas, and then we drove to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and there we were able to see some of the universities, uh, one in particular, the University of Oklahoma, we saw the stadium. I enjoy traveling to places uh, with my wife and family. And then when I see it on television, we can talk about how we went to that particular destination. We went to a basketball game and we saw the Oklahoma City Thunder play basketball. Then we came back to Dallas and we went to see the Dallas Mavericks play basketball. So that was a memorable trip that we did uh, recently, and we had such a great time. Uh, the food was wonderful. We got to spend some time together as well as with some friends, another couple that went with us. Let me know down in the comment section a memorable trip that you have taken recently or something that sticks out to you. 
My name is Jay. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. I have taught you phrasal verbs that you can use as it pertains to study. Practice these so you can have a great English foundation. You can improve your conversation and you can have some English elevation. All right, now let me get out of here. Have a fantastic day and I hope you join me on my next episode. God bless you and I hope to see you later. Oh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And if you like this content, be sure to give me a like and share it with a friend. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.